10 all sports central being over our next team projection of this offseason and it's going to be over the iowa hawkeyes a team that was a very good team last season finished out at six and two overall in the 2020 season and they were one of the best teams in the big 10 and overall i definitely think this team will be a big contender for the big 10 west this upcoming season and that's what we're going over here today we're going over a few players that Iowa will be losing who they were returning and also looking at their schedule for the first time this offseason starting out with the previous six games for iowa if you look at this team down the stretch, I mean, this team continued to improve and improve over the course of the season. I mean, they lost their first two games, but after that, they won their last six. Uh, they beat Michigan State 49-7. Uh, that's really where things started to have a huge turn for uh, for Iowa, and this team really improved from that moment forward. They beat Minnesota 35-7 on the road. That was also a really good win there. Um, they beat Penn State 41-21. Of course, Penn State wasn't a very good team last season, but still... Uh, that was a good win there for Iowa. Beat Nebraska 26 to 20. That was really their closest game of the season there to finish out November. On the 5th of December, they beat Illinois 35 21, and that was before getting their final win of the season against Wisconsin. 28 to 7 was the final score um, in that game on December 12th. So obviously Iowa, they were scheduled to play in a bowl game, but this team ended up having uh, their bowl game canceled due to COVID. So we didn't get to see Iowa in a bowl game, unfortunately. I definitely think this team uh, could have won it for sure, but. Um, in the end, we did not, or we were not able to see that. But for the first four games, Iowa was two and two. Obviously, they lost their first two games, and once again, after that, really things took a big turn, and they played very well from there on out. Uh, their last four games were 4-0. So Iowa, of course, uh, once again, they won six straight games to finish out their season. Here's a roster outlook for this season. Of course, they returned their starting quarterback and Spencer Petrus. Um, that's going to be a big return there for Iowa. If you look at him last season, he put up 1,500 yards, nine touchdowns, five interceptions, of course. Uh, with him being as young of a quarterback as he is, I mean, this was his first season uh, being a starting quarterback. So obviously we did not uh, see him at his full potential last season, but I definitely think he's going to be very improved going into the 2021 season. If you look at his completion percentage, he had 57%. So really, I mean, it's not all that good of a completion percentage, but once again, he's a young quarterback. He's got a lot of time to improve. And I really do think Spencer Petrus is bound for a great 2021 season. If you look at the running back core, they returned their top running back and Tyler Goodson. Uh, that's going to be a big return last season. He put up over 900 yards with seven touchdowns. Overall, great season for him. Uh, they do lose their second running back in McKee Sargent. Uh, if you look at Sargent last season, he put up nearly 500 yards and seven touchdowns. So um, Tyler Goodson was the top running back for Iowa last season. And I definitely think he's going to be bound for a great season here in 2021, possibly the best running back. If not, I'd say a top three running back in the Big Ten next season. As, I mean, he really showed his potential last year. I mean, he put up nearly 1,000 yards through only through only eight games, which is outstanding um, out of a out of a young running back like him. So watch out for him next season. Uh, as for the as far as it goes for the receiving core, they do lose a couple of key players here. They lose their top receiver in Amir Smith Marset. Um, and if you look at him last season, he put up 400 yards, five touchdowns. So that will be a tough loss for Spencer Petrus. Uh, but overall, I definitely think I mean this. I mean they got their tight end coming back in Sam Laporta, which if you look at him last season, I mean he he managed to put up 270 yards in a touchdown, and he's a very young tight end. So um, he's definitely going to be a tight end to watch out for. Uh, they lose their second receiver in Brandon Smith. If you look at him last season, he put up 231 yards and um, two touchdowns. It looks like out of him as well. Uh, so they're going to be losing their top two receivers there in Amir Smith Marset and Brandon Smith. However. I mean, having their tight end back in Sam Laporta is going to be very good for this team. Uh, if you look at the defensive line, they lose one on there. They lose three defensive linemen, and that is going to be definitely a big concern for me going into the, um, into the 2021 season is, I mean, this team is losing, like, I mean, if you look at Chauncey Goldston, that's going to be a huge loss there. I mean, he's going to be an early round draft pick uh, in this 2021 NFL draft. And I mean, even if you look at the other guys, I mean, this team is losing... Uh, three really talented guys here on the defensive line. That's going to be something to really watch out for going into next season. Uh, one linebacker is also going to be uh, leaving the program going into next season um, in Nick Neiman. So you also got to consider that this defense, I mean, with that considered, this defense is losing four starters, which is right around the average out of most teams. Uh, you'll see four to five losses out of most defenses uh, between seasons. So really for Iowa, this team is definitely a team that I think could improve a ton going into next season. They're going to be a little bit young on the defensive side, especially on the defensive line. Uh, this will be kind of an inexperienced uh, defensive line going into 2021, but still lots of potential going into 2021 for Iowa, especially on the offensive side. This team has got a very uh, potential filled offense here with uh, Spencer Petrus and Tyler Goodson, especially 
uh, both of those players anchor are bound for great seasons but how iowa has a successful season here i think if spencer petrus improves a ton which i do expect him to but if he does uh, manage to put up over 2,000, 3,000 yards um, we could see Iowa definitely be in the Big Ten Championship in Indianapolis next season. I definitely think it's either Iowa or Wisconsin who's going to win the Big Ten West next year. Uh, just looking at the returning production in general, either Iowa or Wisconsin, I think, will end up winning it in the end. Um, obviously, you got, I mean, you got Minnesota who could possibly be a contender for that, Northwestern. Uh, but Northwestern's losing quite a bit. And Minnesota, I mean, they kind of flopped last season. So there's a lot of uncertainty with them. But Iowa or Wisconsin, I definitely think will be at the top of the Big Ten West at the end of next season. So that's definitely something for Iowa. And that's going to be a big goal for them is make it to Indianapolis for the Big Ten title game. Uh, but will Iowa win it? Once again, definitely think it's possible. Um, I think this team definitely has got to be very consistent over the course of the season. Um, honestly, I mean, if Iowa played in the first two games of the season like they did at the end of the season this team easily would have been in indianapolis for the title game because i mean they lost the northwestern there that was a huge loss at the beginning of the season for iowa um and if they can just play well from the start this hawkeye team will definitely be in indianapolis next season i really do have a lot of faith in this team i think they're going to be very good next year and that being said let's look at your schedule start off the season with a tough one against indiana and i talked about that in my indiana projection video i think indiana is definitely going to be a good team next season uh possibly nine and three to 11 and one record i think this team that indiana team is returning a lot of a lot of talent and if you look at iowa here like that's going to be a very crucial game for both these teams here because if you look at Iowa, like they, they got to win that game because that could be a potential um, crucial game, especially if we get to the end of the season and we're tied up record-wise like for Iowa and Wisconsin. I mean, if Iowa wins that game, they'll put some of the game up on Wisconsin. So uh, that's going to be a crucial game to start off the season. they got to play at Iowa State in Ames on September 11th. That is going to be a tough game there. Um, Iowa State's going to be a very good team next season. I could easily see them being... Um, a huge contender to win the Big 12 next year. So that's going to be a tough one there in Ames. Uh, but I definitely think Iowa can win it. It's just, I mean, that's definitely going to be one of your tougher ones. So two really tough games to start off the season. You got Kent State on the 18th. That should be a given win. Uh, same with Colorado State. They should win both of those games there. You got Northwestern on the road on the 2nd of October. Uh, that could be a tough one. So really the first half of this schedule is brutal for Iowa. Uh, you got to play Penn State at home on or in Iowa City on October 9th. You got Maryland on the road, Purdue at home. Then you got to travel to Lincoln to play Nebraska. You got Minnesota then on the 13th. You got Illinois on the 20th. Then you travel to Madison for Wisconsin on the 27th. So that being said, uh, really, I mean, the second half of the schedule is a lot more easier than the first half, in my opinion. I mean, you got to play Maryland on the road. They could be okay. Uh, Purdue should be an easy win. Nebraska, that could be an easier game. I mean, Iowa's had a lot of success against Nebraska in the past few years, so you got to consider that. Uh, Minnesota, that's very winnable. Illinois is very winnable. Wisconsin, that's going to be a crucial game there at the end of the season with Wisconsin, though. I will say that. Um, that Wisconsin-Iowa game probably will determine... Uh, the Big Ten West title, I'd assume. If you're looking at both these teams here, I mean, it's going to come down to every single game, and every single game is going to be crucial for both these teams to win the Big Ten West. So um, that Iowa-Wisconsin game on November 27th is going to be a crucial one there. So you got to watch out for that one. But for the first six games of the season, I mean, Indiana-Iowa State, I think, will be very tough games. They're both going to be very close. Um, once again, these are just projections, so I'm not going to be predicting every single game yet. I'll be doing that in a video later this spring because we're still pretty early on in the off season but Kent State Colorado State both are going to be guaranteed wins I'd say um, so you get two wins there Northwestern and Penn State are next and I definitely think Northwestern won't be quite as good of a team in 2021 as they were in 2020 but that's still going to be a tough one there Penn State's going to be a close game it's going to be interesting this season watching Penn State considering uh, they're coming off of their flop of a 2020 season uh, but then after that, for the second half of your schedule, you got Maryland coming up on the 23rd. That's going to be a road game, so I'm going to keep it as a close one for now, but I'm definitely favoring Iowa in that matchup. You got Purdue coming to Iowa City on October 30th. I do think Iowa should have an easy win there. I'm going to keep that one as a guaranteed win. You got Nebraska on the road on the 6th of November. I'm going to keep that one as a close game, mainly because it's on the road. Um, Iowa has had a lot of success against Nebraska in recent years, so, I mean, there's really no, uh, no reason to really doubt Iowa won't win that game right now. Minnesota is coming up on the 13th. Oh, that's going to be a close game. Illinois should be a win on the 20th. I'm going to give you a guaranteed win for that one. And then lastly, for that Wisconsin game, I'm going to keep that one as a close game right now. That's going to be a crucial game, though, once again. I think we're definitely going to see uh, the winner of the Big Ten West uh, end up winning that Iowa-Wisconsin game. So that being said, there are some of my projections for Iowa. My record prediction for um, Iowa right now is 8-4 to 10-2. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, though, on Iowa. I appreciate you guys all watching. 
Um, yeah, stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Let me know your record predictions and all that down in the comments. And once again, thanks again for sticking around. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you guys all later.